how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, great. Uh, I think we needed it, like nice and relaxed, and uh, it's great to get me going. You know, good 65 yards out and putting that in the top end, just what I was after. Do you feel like it was going in as soon as you hit it? Yeah, I actually did, and the lads tried to say it took a nick, but it was in the top corner regardless. I think. <laughs> did you have a nosebleed being up that far, up, no, up that far I, of the pitch? I've had a couple of couple of chances around about there this season, but normally they've ended like well over the stand, so. Pleased to actually hit one fairly sweet and go in. And two man the match performances, obviously, do you feel like you're improving? Obviously, you had a, t a tough run. Yeah, I, much mean, I think that, um, the five, six weeks out, you know, with the bad weather and stuff kind of killed everyone off, and I, myself included, you know, I wasn't happy with my performances, but they say you've got to get two man of the match performances off the belt there. And just a word on the fans this season, how, how good have they been for the, for the team? Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you know, to have so many home games in the last, you know, nine, ten days and to still be getting four, five hundred years, absolutely brilliant. And like you say, they've been spot on all season. 2 1 win over Curzon Ashton this evening. What did you make of that performance? I think it was a comfortable performance. Um, the lads were a little bit nervous first 10, I think you could see that. But um, once it got the legs going, I think it, well, I think it was thoroughly deserved. Could have had a couple more, to be honest, when you're in. We've got to give them credit. I think that's five games in 10 days, is it? And they worked the socks off and got the just rewards. And, I think you look at other results that have gone again, it, it keeps me sniffing about, but I think it's probably going to be a big ask. I cannot see it, to be totally honest with you, but it's football, so you never know. And when your central defender comes forward and uh, <laughs> does that in the first half, what do you make of that? Uh, I thought it was a cross, to be totally honest with you, <laughs> and I think everyone else did, because the way he lined up for the ball, it looked as though he was going to switch the player, but he, he's caught it sweet and it's flew in, and fair play to the kid, because he'd he done exceptionally well again in the day, but I think that's buds for you, when something like that happens, all of a sudden his game raises, and he raises the ball a little bit, and I don't think he put a foot wrong tonight, to be honest with you, so I was delighted for the kid, but I thought we could have had a, a few more goals, and I think everyone could see the nip as nowhere near fit but I'm dragging them through there because it's just one of them things we've got to get them there till the end of the season and then uh, a great cross by uh, right to find Demo in the penalty area another likely score you find in the six yard box but no Demo I think it was Demo and Cordy who hadn't scored this year and it was great for Demo to be fair because well, I was ribbing him in training and that but he'd done well he got he got high I think having Mac and they allowed him to get higher a little bit and it's great to get his goal but I think we, des we deserved it, we could have been two or th probably three more goals up, but it was just disappointing that we conceded a sobby one in the end. And what have you made of the likes of Carty and, and Mackie who have come into the side when they haven't had much football lately, but they're, no. they're getting getting, on, getting straight in the team? It's been brilliant, like, Maka is proper solid, he's, he's, you knew what to get off Maka and yes he hasn't been in the team for certain reasons, but he, I think he's done alright and today he's, I thought he worked hard, but could see him tiring and I think that's down to his legs giving way eventually but Cordy, as I say, I, I think he's come in, he's done exceptionally well. I think it's helped having Aki on the right hand side of him as a central defender, easy covers round and because we're not caught his flaws but he's really good at go, going forward and joining him with the play and staying on the ball and but he sometimes gives the opposition chances because he comes out the areas but having Aki on the right hand side has, has helped massively and to be fair Aki's probably played the best he's played at centre back since he's come back so it's it's left a lot of food for thought going forward and for next season a lot of planning for next season to do so it's disappointing because we're not where we want to be but I just said to the lads here if anyone had said to me you're going in the last game of the season still within the chance of getting in the playoffs you would have snapped your hands off and then good to see uh, Lewis Horner and um, Jack Butler there as well that's uh, Young Jack, different class. He's, I've been wanting to put him in earlier, but I couldn't because the dressing room wasn't right. He, the, the performances weren't good enough on the pitch to, to hire a young kid like that in. But I think you could see today what, what that kid's got. Uh, and he's won for next year, that's a certainty. But Louis Horner, I'm delighted to get him back. <laughs> Still a lot of work to do and the season's probably going to finish too soon for Louis Horner to be honest with you. He's had so many niggles and you could see he's nowhere near in the physical condition he should be to play this level. So he's got a lot of work to do in the summer for me to try and get him, get him back and ready for next season if he wants to come.